This is the case of the dog with the golden urine. A Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video for vet students and pet owners. Sponsored by Topayo Vets. 1st of May 2014. This beautiful Shih Tzu uh, was crying when the owner held him. And uh, so they suspect there's some pain here. So when I palpated, the bladder was quite full. Now after giving the painkillers and injection, he passed out this golden urine. So I'm checking whether this golden urine has got blood or not. So there's no blood. The deep state will show us. Uh, there's a bit of protein. The protein is a bit green. There's protein. So there's some damage to either his bladder or his uh, kidney. Then now we can see that the pH is 7. Uh, 7 is about this green. And the specific gravity is 1.0. 5. So the important thing is there is no blood, so that's why it's yellow here. Yellow means no blood, so it's good. Uh, other than that, the others are quite normal. Now leukocytes don't have. Leukocytes is uh, okay. It means, so the only thing there's no good is the green here. So there's some protein in the urine. And uh, so we'll send the urine for testing for urinary stones. So other than that, he has peed out a lot, so so that uh, is quite clear as well. It's quite clear and uh, we will know from the lab results tomorrow. The very same day, the vet gave a small summary of what he has seen. 1st of May 2014, Labor Day, 11.30 a.m. Okay, just now I have a very interesting case of a dog with a golden urine. Now in this case, the owner wants Cost, the least cost, least medical cost, and yet she wants to know what is the problem with her dog. The complaint was that the dog was immobile in the morning, not able to walk, and also that she was uh, carrying the dog and the dog cries, especially when you carry the dog on the belly area. So in this case, she wants to know what is the problem. So when the dog came here, of course the dog was able to walk and uh, there was no severe pain palpated. So in, in such cases, the owner still wants to know what is the problem, but she doesn't want uh, more detailed uh, lab tests like x-rays, blood tests. So for the vet to make uh, the medical costs affordable, the vet has to listen to the owner and, and come to a conclusion. Now in this case, abdominal palpation of the bladder. I, I palpated the bladder, it was half full. And based on the owner's comment that the dog has not peed this morning. So there's a possibility that the dog has a painful bladder. Now this dog, according to the owner, jumps to the bed and jumps down because he wants to sleep with the owner. So there's a possibility that before he became uh, immobile or unable to walk, he might have jumped down from the bed and hurt his uh, uh, penis or the area near his uh, kidney. So now, to, to, to make the medical cost low, one has to, uh, to do what is necessary. So the, the main thing is to relieve the pain. So to relieve the pain and also to get the urine so these are the, the two cheapest way. So I gave the dog injection of uh, Spartan G6 plus a vitriol and uh, a prednisolone. So within five minutes, the dog peed and it peed a lot. This is only part of it, you know. The golden urine is really golden and clear. So this shows that uh, there was some severe pain in the urinary tract so the dog couldn't pee uh, but with the drugs to relax the bladder the dog peed so now uh, it's not sufficient just to collect urine so we do a deep stick test we do a deep stick test that would let us know more details about the nature of the urine so I dip this one in and, and uh, it has to be right within 5 minutes of the dipping into the urine. Now, I will put this down and uh, compare to the parameters here. Now, to compare, I would have to uh, put it across to the 
to the normal, not the normal urine, the colors, huh? Now blood will be green, but there is no blood, so it's normal, it's negative blood. As you can see, uh, this one is negative, not so no blood. And then we go to the next one, bilirubin, no no problem. Then uh, urobilirubin, no problem. And we go down to, what's the next one? Next one is, let me see, the next one is ketones, no problem. Glucose, no problem, so the dog didn't have diabetes. Now this one, the protein, protein in the urine, you can see that it's, it's a bit green, so you look to the next one. In fact, it's about this this part, so it's, it's uh, we call it uh, 2 plus. So this is the main finding, 2 plus. And the next one will be uh, nitrate, no problem, nitrate. And then leukocyte is the white blood cells. Uh, maybe a bit, but not much. Then the pH, now pH is important. pH will tell us uh, whether the urine is alkaline or not. You can, you can shift this up to almost this 7 to 8. Because this color is about here, it's 7 to 8. So P 7 to 8. Then, uh, so this urine is alkaline, I would say. Then now we go to the specific gravity to see how concentrated urine is. Now, the urine is very concentrated, yeah, of course, it will be more green. And you can see it's, it's quite green. So I would say the urine specific gravity is probably 1.005. And so this shows that the dog is able to concentrate the urine. So there should be no problem. If not, then it should be yellow color. It can't, it can't concentrate urine. The kidney, there's some problem with the kidney. So in conclusion, I would say that this dog probably has some injury either to the bladder or to the kidney. That's why resulting in uh, protein two plus. But then it could be other reasons like bladder stones or kidney stones. But since the owner does not want to X-ray, it's hard to tell. So I will send this this uh, urine to to the lab to have a, another analysis to see whether there's crystals or not. If there's crystals, then we will give the owner more detailed answers. So now, as I said, it's very difficult to come to a conclusion without evidence. But uh, the, the evidence from the lab test, like x-rays, uh, blood tests, and urine tests are basic ones. So now I have only the urine test. But more or less, based on the history, it's likely to be a traumatic injury. According to the owner, the dog has suffered once before. So it's important to ask the owner whether the dog had a similar incident. And she said yes, and after the vet gave an injection, the dog recovered. So uh, the conclusion is don't let the dog jump under the bed and sleep with the owner. Because the dog has to jump down, up and down, you see, and this small dog, he hurt himself. So my advice to the owner is, or the owner's advice was to put the mattress down on the floor. So the husband and wife put the mattress on the floor. The dog's mattress is also on the floor, so I advise the owner to, to do it that way, so all sleep on the floor, and then uh, reward the dog with treat when the dog sleeps on his own bed every night, so that to slowly uh, get the dog used to his own bed, because he's been given treats, rewards, and uh, this is a positive reinforcement training, and after some time, maybe months or weeks, the couple can put back the mattress on the bed frame, and the dog will sleep on the floor by himself. Now, in the first place, the owner should not have let the dog jump onto the bed and sleep with them, especially after the first episode of, a, of pain with a vet, the first vet. So in any case, this, this, uh, the dog that was urine is actually, the diagnosis is actually probably a traumatic injury to the urinary tract most likely the bladder or the kidney and uh, so without having to do spend so much money on blood tests and x-rays this is about the best diagnosis that can be done because of the history and of course it was a previous occurrence but uh, the prevention is more important and the advice to the owner is to to, uh, to train the dog to sleep on his own bed and if he can do that then there should be no more recurrence of this unable to walk and 
unable to pee, has the dog normally pees in the morning. So in conclusion, the best advice is listen to what the owner says. And this, this takes a lot of time. And uh, if you don't listen, of course, you, you won't catch the, the happenings. And uh, in this case, the, the diagnosis was traumatic injury to the bladder or kidney or the penis. Later that day, they did a urine test and this is the results. On May 1st, 2014, this Shih Tzu, male 3 years old, came in because the owner complained that uh, the dog cries when she carries the dog. And on abdominal palpation, the dog had pain and was very uh, aggressive towards me. So I suggested a urine test since there was some pain in the abdomen and could be the bladder. The dog had been jumping up and down the bed and it's possible that it could have traumatized his bladder, kidneys or his uh, penis. So now the result of the urine test is here. Now this result shows that uh, the amber colored urine is, or the golden urine is clear so there is no uh, crystals or other other things and you can see that uh, the pH of this dog is 8 the SG, the specific gravity is 1.040 which is the normal range then the others are negative important thing is glucose negative uh, blood negative so there is no traumatic injury and the protein also is negative although the deep stake did show slight protein but the lab report sh shows negative protein now we look at the bacteria, it's nil, so bacteria is negative and the crystals is nil. So this is important because uh, this shows that uh, the dog doesn't have a urinary tract infection although there's pain in the bladder or penile area. Now the blood is negative, I just now I said already, glucose, these are the things we look for, protein and uh, so the traumatic injury uh, has not affected the urinary system. Now, as far as the amber colored urine or the golden urine is concerned, I asked the owner what did the dog eat. So mainly the dog ate fruits of all kinds and some human food and uh, vegetables, including potatoes and uh, cauliflowers and melon. So the main thing is uh, there's some, uh, the canned food is a Caesar canned food and that's all the dog had been eating. And uh, other than that, uh, th this could account for the clear golden urine. It could be the fruits, the fruits, the papayas, the carrots, pumpkins. Uh, they could have been uh, uh, given the color of the urine to amber. Normally, the dog's urine is light yellow, but uh, in this case, there is no traumatic injury to the bladder or kidneys, and so the owner is quite happy. It ends the diagnosis and treatment. May 19, 2014 at 6 p.m. Today, Dr. Seng called the owners to follow up on how the dog is doing. The owner said the dog is happy and that they are also happy to see the dog happy and running around the apartment. He also, The dog also wants to jump on the bed every now and then, but is not allowed to do so. So they allow the dog to sleep on the mattress on the floor instead. Now the pee is also clear and light yellow instead of the golden color it is, which means there is an improvement. And also, the urine is alkaline in nature, therefore there is no blood, no bacteria, no crystals or protein within the urine, which is a good sign.